What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and I'm doing some sniping on Hazard, playing a team deathmatch. You see a quick fail, miss, and I get shot. Good times. Uh, when the round starts off like that, it always makes me leery of like, oh god, this round is going to be horrible as far as hit detection goes, but then I get a small little drag scope for a headshot, and I'm like, alright, well, kind of semi-redeem myself. Um, the gameplay itself starts off just a tad bit slow. No, not really, I'm not camping or anything, but I don't do a whole lot of moving around because they keep running towards me. And I'm kind of playing a little bit safe since I'm sniping. But anyway, I um, picked up a Nog here and it ended up going on a pretty good little tear. And you know, I can honestly say that um, this was recorded last night, I believe, or Friday night, I, whatever night of the week it currently is. And it was one of the first nights I've had in quite a while that everything just seemed to be working like it was supposed to. And, you know, I'm not going to make a video complaining incessantly about hit detection and lag and all that other crap because, you know, everybody already knows about it. It's not a big secret. So I was just happy that it was actually working in my favor for a change. And when it is working in my favor, I usually end up with pretty decent gameplays, you know, for, for me. You know, this is not a machinima-worthy video. I'm not going... 98 and 2 in a team death match with just a pistol and no kill streaks. I just, it's not that kind of video. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about is um, basically the four different Call of Duty games and the what is it, the stigma that they have. And uh, basically, my thoughts are that the main reason Call of Duty games are the way they are is because of the players. Um, I am a firm believer that if it wasn't for a whole lot of D-bags playing some of these games, they would be a lot more fun to play. I can say that with complete honesty. If you think back to all the major problems the last four Call of Duty games have had, it's all been come back to the players. And I know some people argue, it's like, okay, well, what about all the hacked lobbies and the glitches and the JTAGs? And, you know, if the developers would fix that, then they would have a problem. That is true. But, if you look at the root of the problem, it's the players using that crap. You know, if we didn't have to worry about players doing hacked lobbies and modded lobbies and JTAGs and aim bots and all the other crap that has ruined the game, the developers wouldn't have to spend so much time trying to keep their game from getting hacked. And, you know, you look at... Let's just go back to last year's game, Modern Warfare 2. You know, the things that annoy the hell out of people one, that make them stop playing it. Is you got all the morons running around with one-man army doing nothing besides raining noob tubes all over the map. That's not the developer's fault. Yes, they're the ones that put the perks in there, but it's the players who choose to use those. And knowing that it's a, a D-bag maneuver that ruins the game. There is a lot. Of, there's things in pretty much every game that can give you an advantage over somebody or that can cause grief on another player. And it's up to the players to decide to do so or not to do so in using those. You know, it's it sucks that everybody dogs on the developers and the game itself because of players' decisions. Nobody is forcing people to use one-man army. Nobody's forcing people to run around commando lunging. Do I wish some of that crap wasn't in the game? Yes, but only because if they weren't in the game, then players wouldn't have that to choose from. You know, the thing that people say ruined World at War is, uh, you know, besides connection-related issues there, was, um, you know, the MP40, or was it the, the M40 and the Juggernaut? Is that what it was? I can't remember. I never really saw that too much. But, once again, it was just uh, the things that they put in the game that players decided to use. It's not Treyarch's fault that people figured out uh, a combination of weapon plus perk to make it invisible. It's not their fault. You know, Call of Duty 4, there's all the, you can't even play that game now without a hacked lobby. If you don't have your privacy settings set up right, you'll join the game and all you see is just getting spammed with messages, people doing glitching and hacked lobbies, and it's, it's ridiculous. You can't even find a match on there hardly. Quick pause, that dude that just ran up and stopped and stared at me, I think he went AFK and decided to just stand on top of the hill at the easiest to shoot spot because he doesn't move, which you can see him just kind of looking around. I thought maybe he was trying to grief me or maybe he recognized me. I don't know, but I died. And so he's just standing there getting shot, not moving. And now he died too. Quick tip. If you have to drop your controller, you have to leave for a second. I understand. It happens. You know, I have a kid. Sometimes he wakes up and you got to bolt and run. But if you're going to do that, at least lay prone behind a tree or something. I mean, kind of make it a tad bit difficult for the enemy to find you. So anyway, going back to what I was talking about. You know, even with this game right here, um, 
you know, not counting or, you know, not discounting all the connection-related issues, which everybody is fully aware of, and lag and, you know, hitboxes being nowhere near the player that you see them. The few things that make the game unfun to play. You know, everybody complains about a select few weapons or whatever. It's like, well, okay. So there's a 200-page thread on the forums talking about how the FAMAS and the 74U are overpowered. I'm like, no, they're pretty much overused. They're very good guns, and they're definitely more accurate and easier to use than a lot of other guns. That's for sure. But the only reason there's so many problems with it is because everybody uses them. You know, I personally am not a fan of the two guns, but it's just because of my playstyle. But seriously, it's, you know, it sucks that so much time and effort has to go into trying and fixing things that are broken in the game. But basically all you're doing is it's, we're hiring people to babysit players. You know, we as a community of gamers are the ones who are making the decisions to be doing stupid stuff. There's some of that wonderful hit detection, not even a single hit marker. But, you know, I digress again. If we as a community could stop trying to collectively piss off everybody in the room with this, we'd probably enjoy these games a lot more. But some reason, and I don't know why, maybe it's a bad upbringing, but there's just a group of people, a very large group of people, that find great pleasure in just trying to annoy the hell out of other people. Whether it be through glitching and cheating and doing hacks and annoying the crap out of them, to certain game tactics that are just, you know, non-favorable as far as playing and... You know, I, I'm just kind of curious, you know, everybody, there's the big debate between where everybody's going to go, Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3, and, you know, hopefully I'm going to try to get both games so, you know, I can compare and play both of them and enjoy them. But you know as well as I do, they can put as much time and effort as they want to into either game, and when it comes out, I have a feeling within the first 15 minutes the game is out, somebody's going to figure out how to do some sort of exploit, some sort of glitch to give them an advantage over that. It's going to hit YouTube, and before you know, before the end of the first day of launch, there's going to be you know, forty thousand people doing the exact same thing, and then they're going to have to rush to try and fix it. So, if people would stop voluntarily doing stuff to piss everybody else off, these games would be a lot more fun to play. So, if you're one of these players out there that thinks it's funny to use some sort of tactic to give you an advantage over everybody else just because it's there, well. You need to find something better to do. That's my thoughts. Regardless, that is uh, that is my thoughts. And uh, hopefully you don't disagree so much that you leave some hateful comments. But I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, that's the end of the video. So I'll cut it off here. Thank you guys for your time. I uh, will talk to you later.